We will start by monitoring the normal operation of the block that the force action will affect. Using HMI simulation, we can monitor the block as the system is switched on and off. For the force demonstration, we will use I0.1 or TAG4. From the project tree, expand the watch and force tables listing and double click force table. A new force table opens. Define the tag or tags to be forced, tag 4 for this example. Select the force value text box and type in the value the tag will be forced to. True in this case. With the force table complete, all forced operands and values must be updated before any force values can take effect. Click the icon to update the values online with the PLC. To verify the forcing actions, we will split the screen to be able to utilize the force operands and monitor the block simultaneously. Note that the controlled system is currently in the off state. Click the force start button and confirm by clicking yes. Note that TAG4 is now forced as indicated by the F above the affected elements and that the controlled system is now in the on state without input from an outside source. Stop the force by clicking the force off icon and confirm with yes. We will now verify normal operation via the HMI. and then force the value once again. Now, with TAG4 forced, the HMI has an effect on the block, but not on the output of the system set reset flip-flop. With TAG4 forced, the system cannot be turned off. You should always execute caution when using the force feature. 